Guys, to PCG Deck Forger, and for today, we're going to have another great episode wherein we're going to show you another Microverse Battles Deck Tech, and that is Baron Simo and his Masters of Evil, okay, in what we call the Master Machiavellian Deck. So, Master Machiavellian makes use of mostly Masters of Evil characters, and we have Baron Simo, as you can see here. And of course, Baron Simo together with some of his cohorts like the Melter, we also have Tiger Shark, and of course, what will set up your deck is Whirlwind and an import from SX Corporation, the mutant known as Mr. Sinister. So try to stick with us all throughout the video as we show you what are the supporting characters Okay, what are the plot twists and equipment and locations that compose the Master Machiavellian deck. And at uh, the later part of our of episode, we're going to give you a sample gameplay to show you how we will set up okay, the Master Machiavellian in order to stall your opponent so that you are able to set up your lock. Uh, they cannot attack you in any way or damage your main character and at the same time, you will kick in the main combo of your deck. So now this is PS2 PCG Deck Forger, our Microverse Edition second episode, and this is called Master Machiavellian. Okay, what's up, what's up guys? So welcome back to our deck decking table. And for today, we're going to show you the complete components for our Master Machiavellian deck tech and that is of course running Baron Simo together with, with his, most of his cohorts with, uh, from the Masters of Evil okay, team okay and of course we're going to open up again our huge de uh, demo deck box and we're going to bring out Master Machiavellian okay Baron Simo himself if you remember of course we have already featured one of his team and that is Helmut Simo with the Helmut handlock several of course that is several episodes before but now we're going to go to the Baron himself Baron Simo and of course we start with the main character and Baron Simo at level 1 is a 2 attack 5 defense character with 5 health and range and he is from the masters of evil and I've waited decades for this during the build phase you may pay any red power symbol and you pay one less to recruit any masters of evil supporting characters this turn so meaning any character that costs one you will pay one less so it becomes zero Okay, any character that costs 2 will now become 1, 3 will become 2, and this is of course very fitting for any Microverse Battles format. Because as we can remember, Microverse Battles only okay, lets you have up to a maximum of 5 resources at any turn. So that the maximum number of recruit points that you can have in any given turn of course is only up to 5. And with his level up requirement, he is the master of evil himself. So to level up, he needs 10 XP. So when you recruit a masters of evil character, Simo gains XP equal to its hitted cost. So once he gains those 10 XP, he now level up, levels up. And now he becomes a 5 attack, 8 defense character with still with range and 5 health. And besides his first superpower, now he gains his second superpower which is actually several sets of superpower and this is of course one of my favorite okay um, uh, in marvel comics and this is x marks the spot because he has several of course x materials okay under his team so during the main phase you may pay any yellow power symbol and choose okay an enemy role though then choose okay anyone you can gain either a decisive x so characters okay there are immobile until your next turn so they cannot move and formula x characters okay there can strike this turn and of course you also have particle x 
and characters or destroy each equipment in that particular role. So mostly, I still don't get to use it during the playtest, but again, I really like the concept of having those Adhesive X, Formula X, and Particle X, which is of course derived straight from the comics. So now, with Baron Simo discussed, let's now look at the supporting characters that we have for our Master Machiavellian deck. So, first we start with your one drop, and you only have one set, and that is with Melter. And Melter is a one drop Master of Evil supporting character with two attack and one defense and one health. He has range, and his superpower is, of course, Melting Ray. So, during any combat, you may pay any red power symbol. And Melter gets a plus 5 attack to 0 defense this combat. So again, normally you can normally stun any uh, level 1 main character. And you may KO an equipment on that defender. Now if the defender has iron in its name, it can strike this combat. So very powerful against characters like Ironmonger, Iron Man, okay, and of course other characters like Ironheart. Uh, anything that has iron in the, in the name, okay? For 2 drop, we opted not to use, of course, um, Ultron, uh, but normally he is the ideal 2 drop because, of course, he's, he, he gives an XP to your character. But then I decided to use Electro because, uh, of course, Ultron is in another deck, <laughs> okay? But then Electro as much as possible can of course stop any opposing winnie characters uh, from your opponent's side of the board and he's a 2 attack 2 defense character from uh, the underworld team and he has range and he has chain lightning so during the main phase you may pay any blue power symbol to stun each enemy character at cost 2 or less again electro is here but an optional 2 variant still you can go for that uh, of course, Ultron at two drop, or any other two other, other two drop. You can also try, let's say, one with flight like Spider Woman from the A Force team, because again, uh, at least you can give okay uh, an additional uh, A Force affiliation for your build a better world later. Okay, then for your three drop, you only have one set also, which is Tiger Shark. And Tiger Shark is a 3 cost character with 4 attack, 4 defense, and 2 health. And he has stop, so when Tiger, Tiger Shark gets stunned, you may recover him. He still gets wounded. And he has a Dimension Teeth, so when Tiger Shark strikes an enemy character in melee combat, if he doesn't stun it, put 2, okay, minus 1, minus 1 counters on it. So again, it's good uh, as a first line of defense up front. But then, okay, we will try to give in a, in later to the much better character uh, for your defense, okay? We'll try to explain that later. Now, as part of your combo, of course, we have one copy of Bulldozer. And he is one of the members of the writing crew. He is a 3, a three attack, 3 defense character with 2 health. Uh, again, uh, as a requirement, you need to have and Master of Evil main character in order to put, to put him into your deck and he has Wrecking Helmet so Bulldozer can actually melee attack enemy okay, resources so once you attack a resource you get to replace any locations there with those from uh, your opponent's library but at least also like milling it down yeah, but it's again face down and as part of the Wrecking Crew uh, he gets a plus two attack, plus two defense for each okay other wrecking crew member on your side. So he gets big. So if you have a pile driver in play, he gets to become a five attack, five defense character. If you have, of course, uh, Thunderbolt, now he becomes a seven attack, seven defense character. And of course, the main man of your show, and what makes Master Machiavellian work is Whirlwind. And he is a four cost. 6 attack for defense character with 1 health and with flight and he is the human top so whirlwind can't be struck in melee combat as simple as that your frontline defense normally it takes a range attacker to beat him down but then with uh, your other supporting character later from SX Corp 
now he becomes almost okay invulnerable okay so let's look at it again uh, later your second wrecking crew member of course is pile driver and he is a four attack for defense character with two health and again one of a kind so you need to have a starting main character as a masters of evil in order to put him into your deck then he has wrecking hands so after pile driver can really attack okay enemy hands so once you are able to attack your enemy hands they get to discard any number of cards okay equal to his okay number uh attack value then at the same time he because okay they get to draw it from their library to replace and he is also wrecking crew so he gets a plus two attack plus two defense bonus for each other wrecking crew member out in play so he becomes a uh, of course if you have bulldozer in play he becomes a six attack six defense character if you have thunderbolt in play he also becomes an eight attack eight defense character and before we go to their final drops of course we have spider gwen and she's just here of course because you need her for your build a better world if you need to okay flip back those blue or yellow okay for your gameplay but the main man of the show of course is Mr. Sinister, okay, from the Super Villains. And Mr. Sinister is a 5 cost, 6 attack, 6 defense character with 2 health. He has genius, so at the start of your turn, you can draw a card. And he has genetic manipulation, so during a main phase, you may pay any blue power symbol and choose another supporting character to get either flight, range, berserker, dodge, okay, ferocious, or lethal. So normally you put dodge on your whirlwind so that now he okay you, they cannot be struck in melee combat and at the same time they cannot be attacked by any range attacker so he now becomes vulnerable in order to protect your baron simo and finally your last supporting character is thunderbolt so sad to say we cannot use wrecker here because he is six drop and microburst can only allow you up to five cost as a maximum supporting character so he's a five cost five attack five defense character with two health again a starting master of evil main character is required and he has wrecking ball so thunderbolt can actually immediately attack enemy decks and he's wrecking crew also so as a member he gains a plus two attack plus two defense bonus for each other wrecking crew so he becomes a seven attack seven defense if bulldozer is out or if pile driver is out then he becomes a 9 attack, 9 defense character. So, actually, the main goal of Master Macabillion is to be able to mill down your deck, your opponent's deck, while you are setting up Whirlwind in order, of course, for him to grow big. So, those are your main characters. And for your equipment, we only have two, and of course, first is the Nullifier. So, if there are any range attackers there, you can actually nullify their range so that you can are able to protect your whirlwind okay so put nullifier on whirlwind and now declare or remove range and of course enemy characters lose and can gain that power until the nullifier leaves play so technically it also makes your okay whirlwind invulnerable and what is a Masters of Evil main character without Dark Hold to combo it with, of course, one of the most powerful plot twists in the game. And going to plot twists, now we have, of course, Out of Time. And Out of Time lets you, during the build phase, remove your main character and an enemy, enemy player's main character from the game with their counters and equipment. And at the start of your next turn each of these those characters powers okay our owners put that or puts that character onto their side so again out of time is used here in order for you to be able to stall the game to set up your whirlwind and of course your wrecking crew members and in order to find those needed cards immediately of course we have global information network and you have four copies of them in order for you during the build phase for your main character to pay any yellow power symbol and okay 
If it does, look at the top 5 cards of your deck, put one on your hand and the rest on the bottom. So again, to search for those out of time, of course to search for those equipment like Notifier or Dark Hold and those key character cards like Whirlwind and Thunderbolt. And if that is not enough, of course you have 4 copies of Masters of Evil. And Masters of Evil is another plot twist from the MOE. And during the main phase, look at cards from the top of your deck equal to the highest amount or cost of an evil supporting character on your side and put any number on top of your deck, okay, and the rest on the bottom. So it's just like filtering your deck. And again, in order to uh, search for those out of time, dark hold, and of course those key character cards. And we try to squeeze in four, but you can only, of course, afford two. And we have two copies of Build a Better World in order for you to be able to turn those face down, basic locations face up, most especially for your academy and your laboratory. Very important in this particular deck. And at the same time, we now go to the final set of deck, uh, cards in your deck. And of course, you have your locations. And first of all, we need four Wakandas for this particular deck for you to be able to use any yellow to search for a particular equipment. And number one on the list, of course, are your, of course, Dark Hold and Nullifier. And we have also four sets of red or training ground. And training ground is used here for Baron Simo's I've waited decades for this. Just for this particular, his particular superpower. For you to be able to drop in more characters and be able to level up quickly. And at the same time, for you to be able to, okay, uh, of course, combo it with uh, the likes of, uh, let's say, Whirlwind with Melter. And at the same time, Bulldozer with Tiger Shark or, uh, let's say, Pile Driver. And we have also four copies of Academy. And Academy has many uses here, of course. We, uh, we need them for X marks the spot. If you're able, uh, you are forced to go to the late game. And also for your global information network. And of course, we have four copies of Laboratory. Because Laboratory is very important here for Mr. Sinister's genetic manipulation. And on the side, of course, you get forced to use it. Electros Chain Lightning. And finally, of course, we have four copies of Castle Simo. And Castle Simo is very important here for Baron Simo's superpowers like, okay, I waited decades for this, Master of Evil, and at the same time also for Melter's Melting Ray. And that's it, folks. So now we have the complete deck list for our. Baron Simo Master Machiavellian deck. So on the next portion of our video, we're going to show you a sample gameplay on how to use Master Machiavellian for your Microverse battles. Okay, so stay with us as we go over to our sample gameplay section. Okay, so a while ago, we showed you the sample deck component for our Master Machiavellian Deck Tech. So now we're going to give you the sample gameplay on how to run Baron Simo and his cohorts for the Microverse Battles. Okay, so let's start with our main character. Of course, since Baron Simo has some range, normally we put him in the back row. So first of all, let's try to shuffle our deck first. So to give you a very good and thorough gameplay with equal randomness if, as if you were in an actual VS2 PCG match. Okay, so Baron Simo okay, makes use of not really most of his powers but of course I waited decades for this. Uh, at least you can pay one less to recruit okay, your masters of evil supporting characters this turn and we will make the most of it in this particular match uh, especially that uh, remember microburst battles only run up to the fifth resource okay fifth resource row uh, gaining you or earning you just around okay a couple of 
recruit points. So, maximum of 5. So, again, we're going to shuffle our deck once again. And we're going to cut it as if it were, uh, we were playing in a build phase league match. Wherein we're going to cut it into 3. Then, try to, of course, randomly. Okay. <clears throat> get those needed cards. So now we're done with this with our shuffling we were able to shuffle it twice so it's time to cut your deck so first of all let's try to place Baron Simo at level 1 in the back row position so we're going to have three sets of cards okay being cut so let's say two one and three this time so now we're going to draw seven cards Six and seven. Okay. So oh, okay, this is good. So first of all, we got an out of time. We got the Masters of Evil. We got Pile Driver. We got another Masters of Evil. Then a Nullifier, a Whirlwind, and Mister Sinister. Okay, a bit good because uh, actually can drop some of the cards here earlier. But then let's try to get a sample initiative. So let's try to call in even this time. So if I uh, roll even and any even number, then I will get to go first. So odd, so I get to go second. So much better because I need to draw additional cards. So now we're going to let the player, uh, your opponent go first. He will try to drop in a resource. Then recruit anyone, drop. If there's any chance that it's going to attack, then it's okay. Then if not, since Baron Simo has two attack type defense stats, okay. So at least we can survive unless it forces Outrider, then you definitely get stunned. So now we go to, we were able to draw another out of time and an Electro. So maybe we will try to drop in Master's Evil first as a resource row. Okay, then we play out of time so that, okay, you will avoid that stun. Okay, then your opponent will try to go uh, to his second turn. Then he will try to, of course, play any character. But then, since there's nobody to attack, then he will have to pass. Then you now go to your second turn. So now you have a Wakanda and you have a Global Information Network. So that's okay. Okay, now you try to place in Electro. So since it's not a matter, you will don't get to, of course, gain any resource. It's okay. So now, if there's any evil supporting character on your side, you, know, you can now play Masters of Evil. Of course. We match us with evil, of course. We will try to draw that needed okay card, but since there's none, okay, we have to draw in fast, okay, move quickly, then go to your next turn. So, directly by the third turn of your opponent, you will get stunned, okay. So, you get your first, of course, you will uh, get your first spoon, that's okay. By chance, if Electro is a little bit weak on the stats, so he will get. KO. That's okay. So next is okay. You try to draw in two more cards. Okay. So now you have a tiger shark in play. So now you can attack with tiger's eye. Of course, you can attack with tiger's eye if you like. And if not, then you can actually <coughs> okay pass the turn. Then you gain at least 3 XP because of Tiger Shark. Then now you attack, or if not, okay, he gets attack, try to uh, recover him with tough, then he gets KO, then you are, of course, your Baron Timo will get his second wound of the game. Okay, so we're trying to get a yellow. Yeah, okay, now that's what, that's what we're talking about. We're able to get another Wakanda and another Academy. Okay, so by this time, of course, now you will 
get it that we will try to stall the game by finding that much needed card and that is of course the dark hold so dark hold as we have explained a while ago lets you use your plot twist okay your first plot twist each time by returning it to your hand okay so with baron simo of course uh he's evil so you, you can attach dark hold to him then at the same time you now play your out of time then he will be removed from the game and now of course okay it will return to your hand okay so with nothing else to do again your opponent will pass his turn go into your fifth turn now you got a spider gwen and you got a global information network okay so again try to play your wakanda now this is a, a little bit tricky part because you have to play mr sinister okay he has genius but of course we're trying to as much as possible okay make him survive hopefully you, you can try to attack if you like but then uh if it gets done it's okay with you because you still need him next turn hopefully we get to draw in a blue if not then of course what you can do now is play again out of time so that you can remove Baron Simo, tap with Mr. Sinister, then you get another a stun or whatever, then a wound. Much better because maybe your opponent has lethal. Okay, now with nothing else to do again, your opponent will try to go to his next turn. So even if they amass so many characters, okay, now this is what, this is what we're talking about. Okay, so once your Baron Simo is back. Okay, you try to, uh, again this is a microburst rule so you can discard any other card in your resource to play another because you have only a maximum limit of 5. <clears throat> okay, then of course during the build phase you can now play your whirlwind. And this will now put in a lock because of course the only way to beat whirlwind is with a range attacker. And since you have blue already, Mr. Sinister will now give dodge to your whirlwind. Okay, but of course before you give him that, you try to position it properly. Wherein you place Mr. Sinister in your back row to protect him with whirlwind. Play out of time again. So now you can actually remove Baron Simo from the game together with his main character. So that you can actually try to set up your board then at the same time it uh, out of time returns to your hand pay a yellow so that you can use global information network it will not return back to your hand because it's your second plot twist okay now you have a red you have a castle simo you have a tiger shark another out of time and another red okay what we're looking here of course is uh, a blue again so or uh, what, what you call this you need to have to build a better world but it's okay so if I were you of course I would try to use get the hassle C mode because you need your location as soon as possible this turn okay put the rest at the bottom of your deck so now you have blue so whirlwind now has that so he can hold your game a little bit further because of course again Baron Simo is out of the game and at the same time your whirlwind cannot be struck in melee combat and he cannot be attacked because he has dodge by any range attacker okay so with nothing else to do your opponent will try to pass his turn unless he can remove whirlwind of course but then he cannot do anything with your Baron Simo or your main character so now we're going to go to the okay next turn and you have your genius with you so now this is what we're waiting okay so put in a yellow to remove any card with your microverse okay then now you can okay, play with your
Sasol Sibo in order to reduce all your uh, Masters of Evil character by one. So now Pile Driver becomes a three and Tiger Shark now becomes a two. Okay, so it's okay. Uh, they're there. So now since you have so many that you have put, uh, brought into play, now you have your okay, Baron Simo at level two. And at the same time, okay, Use out of time again to remove Baron Simo for the for the meantime, just for the meantime, okay? Then at the same time, okay, you can use the yellow to again play a global information network. Again, we are you looking for a blue car a blue. Yeah, okay, now we got a blue. Okay, so we have a blue put the rest at the bottom of your library. Okay. So, attack with Pile Driver, so that will now uh, at least discard 4 cards from your opponent's hand to be replaced by 4, L, uh, four more. Okay. So, Tiger Shark and Whirlwind, as much as possible, you don't try to move with them. You can attack to, uh, to whittle down their board, but at the same time, okay, uh, they're just there to protect, of course, anything, uh, your Mr. Sinister, and uh, of course, uh, later on, we're going to go to the final part of the uh, combo. Okay, so either they get stunned, they get stunned, it's okay, you have no problem with that. Okay, always remember they still have two, uh, two, two blood to spare, and so going to uh, this will be, uh, of course one of the final rounds okay and now you draw two more cards what do we got an electro and a masters of evil okay so now we play the blue your laboratory remove one of your mr sinister that you, uh, you're able to place okay a while ago in your resource row and once you are able to play thunderbolt that is where the fun part begins. So why? Because okay, let's try to look at this. First, we play masters. Uh, we play out of time to again remove your Baron Simo. Sorry, but Baron Simo is just an extra here. <laughs> okay, the main star is actually Thunderbolt. Okay, so out of time we go back to your hand. Now you play Masters of Evil, so that you can now look at the top five cards of your deck. Okay, get one. Uh, I would really love to have Bulldozer, but of course, uh, I would rather have, of course, uh, uh, build a better world, but I would, I would rather have Bulldozer, okay? Uh, and before even we play, before we play Master Fable, of course, we will try to put Pal Driver at the uh, bottom part of your resource row. Why? Because, of course, uh, with an additional wrecking crew in your side of the board the other wrecking crew gets a plus two attack plus two defense bonus for each other okay of another wrecking crew member so this time wreck thunderbolt will now become a seven attack seven defense character and of course with mr sinister now you give him range so that okay Oh, sorry, you cannot give him range because he can only melee attack enemy decks. Okay, it's alright. So we just place him there. We just try to place Pal Driver here since it's new. So he's a 7 attack, 7 defense character. So now he will try to attack, and your opponent will mill down his 7 cards from his library. Okay. If you like, you can give him Ferocious so that if anybody would try to attack him, of course, he can strike first and he will, okay, they cannot retaliate in return. Okay, so he becomes a 7 attack, 7 defense character. So again, Tiger Shark is still there, Whirlwind is still there just to block your, okay, your opponent's advances. 
So now, to finish it up, of course, we won't try to place any, any cards here anymore, but we will now place Bulldozer. And at the same time, we have also a Melter. And as you can see here, okay, now you have all your cards set up to beat down your opponent. So, Dark Hole, uh, Baron Simo with the Dark Hole still there. So, as an added security, of course, you can still play out of time again in order to remove him from the game. Attack with your Bulldozer to remove all those locations, replace them, and that is at least five locations if they have one. Attack with Pal Driver if you can still attack with him. Then, of course, that is around six cards that you're going to discard, and now you're going to replace them. And, of course, Thunderbolt. Oh, sorry. This is seven, seven, seven attack, seven defense. This is around eight attack, eight defense, and now you have uh, nine attack, nine defense, Thunderbolt to finally mill down your opponent's library. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Master Machiavellian deck using Baron Simo as your main character. So again, before we go, first of all, I would like to thank all our friends from the BS2 PCG Collective and also from the Build Face League USA, the official sponsor for our Build Face League Philippines Season 2 and our upcoming Mentors Edition. Okay, so we're going to have a Build Face League Mentors Edition. At the same time, I'd like to thank our corporate sponsors. First, we'd like to thank, of course, for them so try to visit our website at uh, www.tweetsfordem.com or you can also download the app at the Google Play Store and also another corporate sponsor is Virtual Mall Philippines so Virtual Mall Philippines okay you can find them at www.vmphilippines.com or again you can download the app at the Google Play Store and our official venue, we have three official venues here in the Philippines. After lockdown, we can get to play any physical event again. So first of all, we have Forge Hobby Place, which is located in Naga Road, okay, in Pulalupa Dos, Las Piñas City, Philippines. We also have our second venue, which is PM Apartments, and it's located at 24 Matalito Street in Diliman, Quezon City, Philippines. And of course, our third venue, which has opened and closed but sorry okay because of the lockdown and that is Forge Hobby Place North Point and it is located at Araneta Square in okay Monumento Caloocan City Philippines so again once again guys thank you very much for watching this episode The Master Machiavellian by Baron Simo and of course we would uh, like to thank all those subscribers and sharers of our youtube channel so please 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 do like subscribe and share our youtube channel so that we can provide you with more okay and better and more outrageous and of course uh top of the line okay or premier vs2 pcg deck deck from the philippine team and so one, once again guys, this is your Master Machabillion or Master Manipulator, Baron Simo.